So children coming to the first sum. Okay, what is the first sum? Three comma six comma nine comma twelve comma so on. Up to three hundred, I have given. In all these sums, we have to find out. In all the sums, we have to find out a common difference, tenth term, twentieth term, and a n and number of terms. N means number of terms. Okay, how many terms are there? I will show children three four sums. You try to see, then you get your understand. A is three children. A means always first term that is three. There is no doubt regarding that. D. D means we know it is a common difference. Children common difference. Second minus first we should do always six minus three that is three. Compulsory we should do second minus first term. Children don't do first minus second. Next. Tenth. Children we know a n is equal to a plus n minus one into d. Now if I want. Tenth term. If I want tenth term, see here. A plus ten minus one into d means indirectly I am getting a plus nine d. We know a is already three children. Nine into three, so three plus twenty-seven, so thirty is tenth term. Thirty is tenth term. Okay. Those who did not understand, a twenty also I find with children in the same procedure. See here, a plus twenty minus one into d. Okay, a is how much we got? Three is there. Plus nineteen into common difference is three. Three plus fifty seven that is sixty. Like this issue. Next, I also want how many terms are there. I also want how many terms are there. And I want how many terms are there. N means. How many terms from here to here? How many terms are there? I want that also. So, children, we know formula A n is equal to a plus n minus one into d. There, a n is last term. Please, children, don't talk in the middle. Don't talk in the middle, children. A n means last term always. A n means last term. Children, a n means last term. So, last time already have given children. You can see in the worksheet, three hundred is equal to a is three. Plus, I want to find out n. Common difference is three. This comes here, children. Two ninety-seven is equal to n minus one into three. Three comes here, children. N minus one is equal to two ninety-seven by three. N minus one is equal to ninety-nine. One comes here. Hundredth term is three hundred. Means indirectly there are hundred terms. There are hundred from here to here. How many terms are there? There are hundred terms are there. Okay, and last but not least, the most important part. I want a n also. What is a n? A n means uh, children a plus n minus one into d. I want n term also. I want n term. What is n term? I will help you children. Just listen. Children, n term is three plus. N minus one into common difference is three. Don't substitute n anything, children. N you keep like the top. Three plus three n minus three plus three minus three gone. Answer is n the term is three n. Children, try to understand. For every arithmetic progression, there will be a formula called n the term. There will be a formula called n the term. N the term for this progression is three n. What is meant by three n? Sir, I want first term means three into one, three. Finish. No need to substitute all this. Sir, I want second term means three into two, six. Sir, I want hundredth term, three into hundred, three hundred. That is called nth term. Every progression will have a formula. What is the formula for this progression? Means three n. So children, you have to find out a. You have to find out b. You have to find tenth term. You have to find twentieth term. You have to find number of terms. You have to find out a n for all the sums, children. Okay. Not only this, you should also find out the middle term. Middle term. So children, middle term means try to understand. Middle term means there are totally hundred terms. Hundred terms means hundred by two. If you do children, fifty. And fifty-one are middle terms. Fiftieth term and fifty-one term are middle terms. So I want a fifty and a fifty-one also because there are two middle terms. 
children like there are 100 terms in the middle uh, sorry total 100 terms are there in the middle two terms are there a50 and a51 what will be a50 children 3 into 50 150 what will be a51 153 these are the various terms like this we should find out children for all the sums you have to find out a common difference a10 a20 n and the term middle term if you are getting even number two middle terms will be there if you get odd number you will have only one middle term sheet. like this you have to find out for all the worksheet sums uh, <coughs> then you will understand sheet. one more sum i am telling for your understanding please I try to see here one more sum i am telling here One more sum I'm telling you. See, second sum. Okay. Check children. Second sum is 0, comma, minus 4, comma, minus 8, comma, minus 12, and up to it is given as minus 3, minus 6. So, children, what is A here? 0. What is D? D is always second term minus first term. That is, minus 4 minus 0 that is minus 4 common difference is minus 4 okay children now 10th term 10th term means a plus 10 minus 1 into d i told you already so a plus 9d a is how much 0 9 into minus 4 so minus 36 is 10th term we should find out children a 10th term for all the sequences you have to find 10th term and 20th term okay and 20th term for your understanding a plus 20 minus 1 into d a plus 19d, 0 plus 19 into minus 4, 0 minus 76, minus 76 is 20th term children. In the same way, I want nth term also. Whenever you are finding nth term children, uh, whenever you are finding nth term, don't substitute n value children. Normally, we know a plus n minus 1 into b. a is 0, n we should not put anything. Common difference is minus 4. So, nth term for this sequence is minus 4 and plus 4 the nth term for this sequence for this sequence the formula for nth term is minus 4 and plus 4 now coming to number of terms to find the number of terms this is always a n children this is a n so a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d minus 396 is equal to 0 plus n minus 1 into minus 4 try to understand minus 396 is equal to n minus 1 into minus 4. Children bring minus 4 down. n minus 1 is equal to minus 396 by minus 4. n minus 1 is equal to 4 minus 4 minus. So again, children, same you are getting 100 terms are there. 100th term is 396. 100th term is 396 means 100 terms are there. From here to here, 100 terms are there. Because you got n as 100. 100 by 2 is how much children? 50 and 51 are middle terms. 50 and 51 are middle terms. So, we should also indirectly find out what is A50 you should find out. What is A51? A50 is how much children? A plus 50 minus 1 into D. A51 is how much children? A plus 51 minus 1 into D. So, A plus 49 D also you should find out. A plus 50D also you should find out. So, we know this is 0, 49 into minus 4, that is 436, 4 for 16, minus 1, uh, 4 minus 36. Minus 196 is 50th term and 0 plus 50 into minus 4, minus 200 will be 51st term. So, middle terms 2 are there. Why 2 are there? Because 100 is even number. Whenever you get even number, in the middle there are two terms. So, in all the sums you are finding A, B, A10, A20, AN, number of terms, middle terms. Like that you are finding all the sums. Anyone have any doubts, children? You can ask me.